So guys, today we're back for another video on the channel today. We're here after Newcastle United vs Southampton player ratings. Honestly, what a win that was. Another player ratings today after the away game. Honestly, what what a win. We're, we're looking too good at the minute. We really, really are. And I thought, you know what? A performance like that deserves a player rating. So you're going to get one tonight. Make sure you like, post, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot if you could do so. Anyways, let's get straight into it. And we'll start off with the goalkeeper, Nick Pope. So starting off there, Nick Pope. He'll be so disappointed to concede that goal late. He couldn't do anything with it. But Southampton actually had more shots than Newcastle in that game. I think they only had about three shots on target. That, that, the, the, in the start of the game, they did grow into the game really, really well. And the second we scored, that was it for them. It really was. I think that I make a substitution and then straight after that we scored. But um, they didn't really do much throughout the full game. Really, Southampton had a couple of good chances, but didn't really test Nick Pope and the shots that he did save were all quite easy saves straight at him and, and easy to deal with. it will be really disappointing to, con uh, to concede that goal, but I'm going to give Nick Pope a good 8 out of 10. Right back now, Kevin Trippier. Honestly, what a player. That pass for Willock School is absolutely sensational, right? If, if Trent Alexander-Arnold does that, right, Liverpool, Sky Sports, everyone does not stop speaking about it. Because it's Newcastle's Kevin Trippier, now get said. Now, now, there'll be something said, but not as much as if Trent done it, right? What a player, what a game. Hopefully he's okay, because just before half time, he was holding his hamstring. Hopefully it's just a knock, and hopefully he's going to be fine for the World Cup and for the, next, for the last two games for Newcastle. But, overall, again, absolutely class. I'm going to give Kieran Trippier a really good 9 out of 10. Defence now, Fabian Shea. Really, really good performance yet again today. I think he's a lot better than Botman, to be honest, but... Really, really good. Made a couple of really good blocks in the first half, and it was probably our best defender for the first 15 20 minutes um, of the game where we literally couldn't get out of our own half, and that just really let the pressure build a lot. But done really, really well. Fabian Shea, strong, big. It, all the defence will be disappointed to concede that goal. The whole club will be because it's imagine if Nick Pope got like the golden glove and a goal like that is the reason why we, we, we don't get it but really really good yet again by Fabian Shea he's going to get a, a 9 out of 10 Sven Botman now um, probably is his worst game for Newcastle in a 4-1 win it tells you how we've came but made a couple of mistakes there and there, and there but nothing really too critical there was one time in the second half where he made a really dodgy pass and it's like what are you doing just get, get away but done really well in the first half, I thought he's probably um, committed himself a lot in the first half, done really really well but overall just, just sound as a pound. I'm going to give him a good 8 out of 10. Dan Byrne now, honest to God, if he does not go to the World Cup after the sea, after the, the year he's had at Newcastle, 11, 10 months he's had at Newcastle, he has been absolutely phenomenal, right? Playing at left back as well. Yeah, he's left footed and whatnot, but he's six foot six and the best left back, one of the best left backs in the league. Like he really, really is. Honest to God, the the way he on the ball as well, he's just so good. And him for England would be would, would be a dream come true for him. It would be absolutely brilliant for him, his family, and everyone for Newcastle United if he went on that plane. And it's not just because I'm saying it as a Newcastle fan. If I was if I watched that game as a Southampton fan. You'd say Dan Byrne was absolutely, absolutely class and you couldn't handle him. It, all the stuff was coming on trip. Yeah, side this game, Dan Byrne was sensational. He's getting a great... I don't think it's worth you a 10 out of 10 performance, but I'm going to give him a good 9 out of 10. In the midfield now, we'll go to Bruno Grimaves with that scream at the end. Yeah, again, he's been a little bit quiet recently against um, Villa. I didn't think he really done much, but... Today, didn't really do much of the game. Done his normal bits and bobs, but didn't have that like, standout moment. But that goal at the end, lovely little pass on Maxi. And he's so good at just... He's basically... He's just pinged the ball into the net. He's, he's, he's just passed it into the net. He's not smashed it or booted it with his laces. He's just glided in, uh, into the back of the net. And the brilliance, and the, the brilliance of the Brazilian just comes out of him so much in, for Newcastle United. And it's fucking class to see. Bruno is going to get a 9 out of 10. Sean Longstaff now, yet again. And I am so, so happy Sky Sports have came out and went, Sean Longstaff, man of the match. He didn't score, didn't assist man of the match and he probably was my man of the match as well absolutely class 
they couldn't handle him. They could not handle Shaw Longstaff, right? And for the way that all the fans criticised him, right, just showed it wasn't Shaw Longstaff. It was Steve Bruce, and it was. Under Rafa, brilliant. Under Bruce, absolutely woeful. Under Eddie Howe, pure class. It, it just shows when he's under a good coach and he can show his ability, he, he really can. Absolutely class. And I'm only going to give him one rating. He was absolutely brilliant today. It's a 10 out of 10. Joe Willick now, um, finally got a goal, first one since February, really, really good yet again today, just just puffed and puffed, I thought in the first half, especially running down that left hand side where Murphy was, was coming inside a little bit, playing as like a second striker, he was working that line and honest to God, that young lad had to get me, he came off injured because of how much Willick was doing him in, honestly, really, really good by Joe Willick and... I think it's too early for him to get an England call up, but he's definitely knocking on that door. If Madison wasn't on form, and if Saka wasn't really good on form, and a couple of other players, I could say that about anyone, but he's definitely knocking on the door in the next couple of years to be in that England team, and I thought he's absolutely class today, and Joe Willick for me is getting a 10 out of 10. Left hand side now will do Jacob Murphy. Didn't really do much in the game. Um, I, I think he got the assist for um, Wood's goal if it's going to get given to him. It, it bubbled around a little bit, but um, didn't really do much, but was, didn't really do anything bad, did he? He, 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 just, he just worked his socks off as he normally does and always gives his best. Good, good performance by Murphy. Now it's special. I'm going to give him a good 7 out of 10. Oh, the. The little joy on his face, man. Miggy Almeron, yet again. Seven goals in seven. Fuck Premier League, of the, Premier League of the month. He's gone for the fucking Ballon d'Or, mate. Honest to God. What a performance yet again that was by Miggy. The goal. People are saying, did he mean that touch? And I think Jamie um, Redknapp went, yeah. Like, ah, oh, see it. Miggy meant that. He, he knows what he's doing, man. And it just shows yet again. I think under Rafa, he was just unlucky not to score in that first game. And just really couldn't score. Under Bruce, he was... He was so bad in some games. I think it was a year ago yesterday when we played... Um, or was it today when we played... Southampton away we got beat 2-0 he was woeful in that game him and Longstaff both of them were at fault for both of the goals I got the memories on my phone um, put up today but he was absolutely brilliant today Miggy another goal for him absolutely class I love to see it and yet again there's only one way I can give the golden boy and it's a 10 out of 10 Callum Wilson started up front I'm crossing my fingers I'm praying to fucking God that he is not injured he deserves to be on that plane for England it would be such a shame because It'll be that prick Tony who gets called up. He's a brilliant player, but I just don't really like him, to be honest. Um, and I'd be so disappointed if he was injured. But hopefully it's just a little niggle. Now bad. Didn't want to risk him because he looked fine in the first half. Over on the first half, he um, done really well. He had a couple of good chances. And... Um, was it was the, the long staff goal? He just ran offside, played it off the long staff, and the keeper made a good save, but it was offside anyways. I can't really give Wilton that absolutely outstanding rate. It was only one and a half time. He's got to get a six out of ten. And then the only substitute I'm going to rate is Chris Wood because he played like the full second half, and I want to speak a little bit about him. He's needed that goal for for months, for for months, right? And he's. Wilton's came back in. He hasn't started a game. I don't think he started a Premier League game this season, but. That's his first Premier League goal since since April, that penalty against Wolves. And it's nice to see, it really is. He got his first goal for Newcastle against Southampton. Just just loves playing against fucking loves playing against the Saints, but it's really nice to see him to see him score. He'll most likely start on Wednesday night against Palace and, and hopefully he can do something. He, I don't think he really performed well, but the finish is really, really good. It was a really good goal. Didn't even take a touch. Knew where the bottom corner was. And Chris Wood is going to get a good 8, eight out of 10 for me. And there we go, boys. That is the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Blasting out all the videos. We've got the preview and predictor team going out this weekend. And obviously the game on Wednesday. All videos out every day this week. Apart from probably... Well, if I can get a prior ratings out, I'll probably upload it on the Sunday for the Chelsea game. But we've got videos going out every single day until the Chelsea vlog. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So make sure to turn that bell on and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, boys. See you in the next one. Have a good one and up the fucking mags.